The HTML editor integrates with all learning environment tools that have the HTML content creation capabilities. For example, the HTML editor is available when you edit discussion topics, create custom instructions for Dropbox folders, and create content, content topics. Note, this tutorial will show creating a link to a file within a module file. A link can be added to any content that has the HTML editor available, which could be Dropbox directions or Dropbox feedback or quiz questions or quiz instructions. Anywhere the HTML editor exists, you can actually create a, a link to a file. So what you want to do is click on the location where you want to place the file within the HTML editor. So I'll just click there. Click on the quick link icon and click course file. Now there's two things that go on here. If the file is within the course file area already, all you need to do is just click on the name of the file and that creates the link. You may want to actually edit the, the name of the file so that it makes a little more sense putting spaces in things so that it makes more sense from the student's perspective. The second thing, if the file is not within the, the course file area, then after you click on the the quick link and, and click on course files you may need to scroll down but you're going to click on create new file you're going to click upload so this is going to upload the file click on the name of the file click on open click on create and insert and again you may want to edit the name of the file or edit the name of the link so it makes more sense and is much more descriptive uh, so the students understand. Once you save this, publish this, then when a student clicks on that link, it will then ask them to either open that file or save that file onto their computer.